do you have something that you would you truly relentlessly desire despite your state of life is there something else that you would go completely to the end of the world to get well lucky for you there's a way to achieve what you're looking for and you won't need to go to the end of the world to get it but you will need to go somewhere and the and the place may be too out of reach for some it is it's not too far away closer than one may believe but there is requirements that some individuals might not possess first whatever is First, whatever it is that you speak, know that you must seriously desire what you want in your eyes. It should be something you need. It, If you begin the journey without the correct state of mind, you will surely fail, as it will never, as it will be near impossible to turn back. Once the journey starts, the second requirement is that you will need a vehicle of a sort. Most use a car as it is more comfortable in choice. There have been a select few had that have used certain motorized vehicles such as an ATV or motorcycle, but it has proven quite difficult, as the conditions of the journey can be proven to be quite bothersome. Do not use a vehicle too large or noticeable, as you will need some of the cover of night to be most safe, as also while any sort of car will do. You may not want to choose the most expensive or cherished vehicle. You can take your slick new black Mercedes for the drive if you'd like, but don't expect it to come back in one in a pristine state. Make sure your vehicle is completely fueled before beginning the drive. The first task to accomplish is to locate the road. It doesn't have a name, it's not on the map, and technically it doesn't even exist. It will only show up if you're looking for it at the right time, and you only spot it if you know what to look for. Finally, you must be alone during the journey. You don't think you'd be able to go in with a group, did you? It must be night when you begin. Choose the time of night where you believe the roads are at least are at the least populated. Drive to any area that is a stretch of road surrounded by woods. Here's what you need to start paying close attention to. If you're looking for the road, it will turn up eventually, but you need to search for the road's hints in order to pull down the right one. Once you're close, you will see or feel it. It's signs, but when you but what the signs will be will depend on which it is you desire. For example, if you're searching for wealth, you might spot shimbers on the empty branches of trees as as if they resemble the shine of gold or diamonds. If you speak love, you may begin to see rose petals slowly dancing in light blaze blowing in the road's directions. If you see revenge, you might sense an ever-growing feeling of heat or anger in your body as you approach. If you seek health or energy, you will immediately start feeling your heart race right at the beginning of the road right to the end and it will feel like you are a brand new person if you're looking for a new life that's what you will find at the end of this road when you start this road you will look one way and when you end exit it you will look completely different you will look like a brand new person just know what is just know what it is you really want and you'll have no problem finding the turn once you're sure you found the revealed road, take a deep breath and turn down onto it. At this point, you have officially started down the nameless road, which begins you through 11 miles. Leading it is to whatever you seek and whatever you are looking for. Each mile will test your desire and will expose if you really do want what you're searching for. Before you go any further, stop the car and be aware of a few advancements. Advisements. Do not turn on a radio during the drive do not use a phone during the drive reception would be cut off anyways do not open the windows during the drive make sure they are closed before you continue if you're riding a vehicle without windows or top then prepare for the worst as the odds are heavily against you do not attempt to leave your vehicle at any time you will never want to exceed 30 miles per hour unless you're desperate to make it through a section of the road and most importantly as with any drive buckle up Feel free to prepare and make sure you're ready. Once the road has en has been entered, time has stopped, so you don't need to worry about losing the night. Though you may not notice you're not actually in your own world anymore, take one last moment to realize that once the first mile is over, there's no turning back. If you ponder turning back at all, know that you shouldn't even be on the journey in the first place. Once all is done, start continuing on the road. On the first mile, you won't see much change. The road passes through most Lee Woods with a few miles being an exception. The air will take a will the air will turn a big holder in which you should turn your heating system if the vehicle has one. 
You won't want to take your eyes off the road later. Take some time to calm any uneasiness by admiring some of the night sky. You will see it completely lined with stars, more than what you would ever possibly believe. If the weather was cloudy beforehand, you'll notice that the night sky is now clear. On the second mile, the air will become even colder. This is primarily the reason why traveling in an open vehicle is very difficult. With each mile, the air will drop in temperature even if the season should be warm. If the air is too cold to bear, even with the heat on, your only option is to speed up. With each mile, the road also becomes even more complex, taking more turns and showing an increasing amount of road hazards. Be sure to always keep a focused eye on the road in front of you in order to avoid as many bumps or obstacles as possible. Hitting a few rocks and potholes won't hamper your progress too much, but you will want to keep in the best condition for as long as possible. If your vehicle is forced to stop because of damage, then there's nothing you can left to do but eventually freeze to death. On the on the third mile, you begin to spot silhouettes of humans, human figures in the linings of trees. Pay no attention to them. Even if they seem to get closer, it will be hard to resist peeking at their unnerving distance appearances. But know that they will reveal themselves later at this mile. The road will become dirt if you are not driving on it. The beginning, keep driving on it at the beginning. Keep to the center of the path as it will become narrow and wide as at random intervals. On a quick side note, should you attempt to turn despite the previous warnings you'll be left on a path which never ends you will simply run out of fuel eventually and be left to freeze in the cold conditions on the fourth mile you will not see more of the figures but you will begin to in a sense hear them in the back of your mind a very faint intelligible whisper will echo these will come on will come and go but you can't stop them if they become bothersome or distracting try and tune them out by thinking what it is you desire attempting to listen and determine what the voices are saying will only attract them to you and what you want to be far away from as you can far away from them as you can they will only be closer there so no use bringing them near you this early on the fifth mile you will come to a clearing. The lining of trees to your left will disappear to reveal a lake with no end, with a beaming great moon over the water. The illumination from the moon will be sp so spectacular that the vehicle's headlights will no longer be required. Restrain yourself from gazing at it. If you look at it at its light for even more than a few seconds, the road in front of you will end, throwing your vehicle into the wire in which you will freeze in mere seconds. The voices will be gone for this mile, but don't rejoice, they'll be back. On the sixth mile, take into account that you are more than halfway done. Despite the progress, you may lose hope. Here, the stars will have disappeared at this point, leaving the sky in empty black eyes, empty black abyss. The clearing will have ended, leading you back into the woods. The only light you will have will be provided by your vehicle headlights, but they will flicker from time to time, even sh if you're sure they're in perfect working order. If you have a radio in your vehicle, it will turn on here automatically. If you didn't turn it on off beforehand, it will produce an overwhelming screech that will send you off the path. A calm voice will begin to speak about your greatest fears. What if it is you, what it is you, you horror in your life? It will speak in a way that will cause you to visualize the words in your mind so you don't listen to it. If you begin to comprehend what it's saying, the horrors will pr prove too much for you to stay on the road safely. Attempting to turn off the radio will prove no use. Speeding up if you need to, just to keep your mind off the voice as much as you can. As you approach the end of the mile, the voice will fade out of the speakers, leaving your ears bad. Now, on the seventh mile, the voices from the figures will return. It won't sound like a whisper this time, but more like distant screams, growing closer with each second. At some point at, on this mile, you'll hear one of them in your ear, as if one of them were right behind you. This is because one of the figures have found their way into your vehicles. Do not turn around. Their faces will shock you to a paralysis, leading you off the road. If you do, if you don't draw attention to it, it might become uninterested and hopefully leave. These beings are said to be ones that have traveled down this road, have traveled down the road before, but were not successful. 
They leave the reminder of their di existence suffering in the darkness with only their goal being to bring other travelers down with them. It has been said from experience that these beings can't physically harm you, so as long as they don't cause you to wreck, you should be fine. On the 8th mile, slow down if you're going too fast. The road here takes a very sharp turn, which if overshot will lead you which will lead will throw the vehicle into a pit through the trees. The cold near here is fatal. If you were to have a glass or bottle of liquid in your car, it would be solid in seconds. The heating system will have completely de obsolete. Your headlights will flicker more, sometimes shutting off. You should break if this happens, but do not completely stop. The figures will be, will be following you at this point. You should stop and should you stop for too long they will surround and trap your vehicle more of their screams can be heard from outside your doors sometimes even sounding of mechan maniacal laughter their hands will claw at your windows desperate to reach you and feel something living do not look at them they won't block your windshield and the last thing you want is to happen is to crash and be trapped with them if you do not make it from here pray that's freezing that ends you on the ninth mile you're vehicle will stall the headlights will flash shut off as well as as will all other systems inside there's nothing you can do at this point to prevent this what you will need to do is close your eyes and immediately attempt to restart the vehicle keep your eyes closed as the vi figures would have surely surrounded you the starting of the vehicle will frame them and they will all back away temporarily. This will give you a chance to start moving forward. If you begin to hear the windows crack from their struggle, don't lose focus. The beings can alter the vehicle, but remember they can still not do, they still do not have the strength to physically affect you. You will hear nothing but their voices rampaging in your mind as, as there could be anywhere but a dozen or a hundred of them after you now. Once you start the vehicle, floor it. Floor it for as long as you can. Stay on the path. When the mile's done, the beings will retreat. On the 10th mile, the voices of the beings will stop. If you're to look in your rearview mirror, do not actually do this. You will see them follow you, you, but not as long as if they're chasing. They're watching you as if they're seeing you off. As you go down the 10th mile, the road will be smoother. As if you're back on the first mile, the figures will be lining the sides of the path ahead of you. They won't be after you, but they will be watching you. As some have theorized that the beings are impressed here, that you have come a long way on the journey to what you desire. This is, this is false. They are not impressed, but they are, they are happy. They are happy that you are about to approach the next mile. They are happy you are the most likely going to your death. On the 11th and final mile, everything in your vehicle will lose power. And as, as it did on the 9th mile, the vehicle will be normally be immobile. But you will still be moving. An unknown force will be pulling you forward in the darkness. You will see a growing red light up ahead, as if it were a light at the end of the tunnel. Close your eyes and cover them. Do whatever it takes to make sure you do not see what you are about to go through. Covering your eyes would also be helpful, but keeping your eyes covered should be a higher priority. The red light is clear. The red light is another clearing, but there is no moon or lake this time. Once it has entered, unrelenting and inconceivable noises will sound from all directions. No amount of bravery and conditioning will spare you from these sounds. The cold will turn to a merciless heat, burning all parts of the vehicle. You will feel the illusion of flesh being burned off your bones, that every part of you your, you is being destroyed as you travel s through screams and audible suffering. As y long as you keep your eyes closed and resist the urge to see what you are, you will survive, though. This, this suffering this will last a total of 31 seconds, but many fail to keep their vision closed during this that time and are left to the worst fate of the road where is this mile located these those have survived do not know some have named it the transmission from hell but whatever it is it's part of it's part of hell is debatable after the mile power will return stopping the vehicle stop the vehicle take a moment to possibly regain some of your sanity let the screaming in your ears begin to fade and know that you have nearly completed your journey with the hardest task overcome breathing begin to drive forward once again after only climb under your vehicle will arrive at a dead end stop here and don't attempt to move again nothing will happen right this 
second but do not be disappointed relax and close your eyes imagine in your mind what it is you've desired the entire time it will most likely still be the same as when you entered but when but with this some this desire may actually have changed through making this journey think about what it is that you went through such terrifying and difficult means to acquire and imagine and possessing it in your hands once you've completely visualized this slowly open your eyes you will then find yourself at the beginning of an unnamed road where you first began this may confuse you but know that you are finished your task is done here your mind will then turn to your reward if what you desired was material, check in the back seat or in the trunk if the object is larger. If the object was small enough, it might already be in your pocket. If what you desired was not material, then do not be disappointed if the change is not immediate. Turn back to where you came from and you will find in your life that what you wanted is there. You may have found the love of your dreams, you may have gained a natural, unimaginable power. You may have put your most hated enemy to the most satisfying revenge possible. You will have no doubt gained what you deserved. So now that the task is done, what's the catch? Is your vehicle cursed? Is there something you're about to lose? Is your death imminent? The answer to all is no. Of course. You've done the challenge. You've proved worthy of what you desire. As stated before, the sounds of the 11th mile will continue to exist in your mind, potentially causing you some vivid and unusual nightmares, but these should prove as nothing compared to what you've gained. Now one last question. Is there something else you desire? Are you not yet satisfied? After all, you're left right back where you started. The road's right in front of you. So are you up for another ride? Cause you got a full tank of gas. If so, buckle up and just move forward. Thank you so much for listening to this. I recorded it. I hope you like it. It's for 11.42. I think you'll like it. I think you'll get the just means of it. Have an amazing one. Thank you so much. Bye. Check out ergopathics.ca. Bless. Yeah.